A day of cheering for investors and anyone with a retirement account, the Dow Jones Industrial. Uh, closing up Friday, another 22 points. Now standing at more than 12,200. October has been one of the best months for the Dow in recent history. Just take a look. We started the month with some of the year's lowest numbers, but in just 28 days, the Dow has jumped more than 12%. Joining us tonight, Mike Rogers, the president of 360 Financial in Minnetonka. Mike, as always, thanks for being here. Thanks, Jeff. Hey, it's uh, been just a wild month with a lot of focus on yeah, problems nice. over in Europe and what they're doing to us here. Are we in the clear as far as that's concerned? And should we worry about problems here in the U.S.? Well, as far as being in the clear in Europe, you know, what they came up with was a strategy. And they said, okay, with the strategy, here's our game plan. It's kind of like the Vikings having a game plan. Now the thing is we have to execute it. Can they execute? Can they get through this plan? Can they implement it so that it actually works? You know, basically what we're talking about here is, is paying the debts or the bills, if you will, for the Greek and government. And so it's important that they get it settled. It's important that they implement this strategy. We'll see if they do or not. Yeah, hopefully uh, it's uh, done once and for all. You know, volatile is about the best word you can use to describe the market these days, especially yeah. over the past several months. So what's driving that, and should we expect that to be the new norm as far as the stock market's concerned, all this volatility? Well, we've had a tremendous amount of volatility this past month and last month. Uh, you know, I was in here three times in August because of all this volatility. Mm -hmm. Will it continue? Yeah, to some extent, I think it will. I mean, if you're looking at um, just what's going on in the market, we've got a lot of volume, we have a lot of things going on. Um, you know, you have markets out there and market makers that talk about how they hold stocks for five minutes as far as a trading or, or investment activity. So that's going to create more volatility. Bottom line is, for the viewers, what they really need to do is say, okay, we've been in this situation, we've gone up, we've gone down, we've gone back up. What's the best situation for me? You know, if they were panicking last year, what were or last month I should say, and now they're relieved. This is their golden opportunity to look at their strategy and make sure it fits their needs. You know, are you saying in a way though that technology is kind of affecting us in a negative way as far as the markets are concerned? I mean, all of this digital this and that, and because of the immediacy, it's yeah. really having an effect. Sure it is. You know, from the standpoint, everything's transparent. You can see everything going on in the market. The trading activity has is, is, is just exploded over the years as far as the volume is concerned. So, And that's all technology-driven. And uh, the more technology is used, um, the more it's going to drive up volume. And, and when I started this business 20 years ago, um, you know, we would talk about heavy days. Those are done in the first hour of the trading now. Wow. Yeah. You know, okay, how about uh, the people out there who have a 401k account? Yeah. and they're finally starting to maybe breathe a sigh of relief. What does all of this yeah. mean for them? Well, they feel a lot better, um, that's for sure. So they get on the, the computer and they look at their statements and they see they're all up versus last quarter when they were all down. You know, but it really means, again, what they have to do is take a step back. And they have to say, okay, if a month ago, two months ago, I was at the verge of selling out all my stocks because of the bad news, because of what was going on in the economy. By the way, the economy last quarter grew, mm -hmm. not shrunk. So if I was worried about all that, here's your second chance. Here's your opportunity to reallocate maybe towards some safer investment, something that you're more comfortable with. Um, if you're comfortable with your strategy and you just say, okay, I've got a long time horizon, you know, where we're telling our clients is, you got a strategy, stick with it. All right. Mike Rogers, president of 360 Financial, thanks so much. Thank you, Jeff. All right.